And we're back! Howdy y'all, this is Ethan Von Beal playing Not Oracle of Ages, as you might notice from this gameplay. This is definitely not Oracle of Ages, in fact, it's a completely different game. Um, right now I'm playing a game called Vindictus. Um, spoilers, by the way, this is post-commentary because I've recorded a batch of videos um, for this that um, have some sound errors, so I'm just going to post-commentate these, and I think it's a nice departure from um, the, the live commentary, because it just lets me record a, a larger amount of videos um, at one time. But anyway, this definitely doesn't mean that Oracle of the Ages is um, ending. I'm just going to do this intermittently between Oracle of Ages videos. Um, in fact, I have one kind of ready, but I have some issues with the sound. So what I might do is actually just mute the video and like actually play this, the music from from the game over it, but in any case, um, yeah, this is Vindictus, um, it's a game that I play in my free time, it's a Nexon game, um, if you're not familiar with it, Nexon is a Korean um, company that makes a lot of um, MMOs that are free to play, and um, they were one of the, not the first, but they, they were pretty ahead of the curve with the free to play game, with the cash shop as a, a way of making money, and they, they, it's a pretty solid game. Um, I'm not a big fan of a lot of Nexon games, because they're really grindy, but this is pretty solid. Um, and so what I'm doing right now in this game is basically, um, I'm just going through a mission. I'm actually not like starting a new character or anything. This is the main character that I play now. Um, it's a Fiona. Um, in a lot of Korean MMOs, um, you don't necessarily play, well you do play as classes, but you take the role of in, in a story as a certain character, and the different classes are different characters. So like, my character is a Fiona, and her, she is a tank, and there are a lot of other people playing as the character Fiona, but, um, oops, you just got smashed in the face. Um, there are other people playing as the character Fiona, but with different builds, but they're different and different people. So it, it's just a little difference. Really, it just um, just to have playing as different characters really just means that you're playing as different classes. Um, the one thing is that they are gender locked, um, kind of. But other than that, I, I think it makes sense because you're playing the role of a character, but some people don't like that. Although what they're doing now is actually releasing, um, I guess. Um, opposite gender counterparts of the characters that are already existing. But in any case, um, this game is basically, um, well, it's actually a prequel to another Nexon game, but I'm going to get into that later. Basically what's happening is that there's a war going on between two factions, um, the Form Wars and, I believe, the Humans. And... Basically, they both have both of them have this prophecy that says if they kill all of the other group, that they're going to um, basically be allowed to go to paradise into a land where like they don't have to work or anything, or and there's plenty of food and all that shit. And um, that that's basically the the basic driving point in the story is that people are rather. Both of these sides are trying to kill each other, and um, fortunately for us, we happen to be playing the kind of winning side, the humans. Um, Form Wars um, are basically monstrous races, like goblins, um, goblins, kobolds, or koboldles, I don't even know how to pronounce that word out loud, um, kobolds and um, gremlins, and uh, other, other similar monstrous races, um, and ogres too. In addition to gnolls, as you see here, that's what I'm fighting now. Although gnolls in the story technically aren't formers, they're a race that's trying to join the formers. But um, in, in any case, both of us are basically trying to murder each other, um, or basically complete, or enact complete genocide because that 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 is basically what the prophets uh, the prophecy says is that you have to kill it every single one of the opposing side to be able to um, go to heaven and where this fits in um, 
this battle I'm doing right now is basically the gnolls want to join the form wars, or rather their leader does. And I'm basically here to beat the shit out of them until they decide not to. Um, and we're going to actually, in this mission, kill their leader to discourage them from joining the form wars. In any case, this game has a really basic combat system. Um, basically, you just beat the shit out of everything until it dies. Um, although it does require a, a, a bit of knowing what to do um, for some well for some classes more than others. Um, in terms of, there are two types of attacks in this game. There are normal attacks and smash attacks. Um, smash attacks can't be guarded against, and they tend to knock you flat on your ass so that you're vulnerable to more attacks, and normal attacks tend to be quicker um, and more combo based. Usually smash attacks are finishers, but bosses typically just have like separate attacks that are either normal attacks or um, smash attacks. In any case, the combat system um, basically is built around this in that, as you can see from my friend over there who's to the left, who's just murdering everything. Um, you have to basically decide when to stop attacking and when is a good time to dodge because the other thing is that smash attacks have priority over normal attacks which means that if you're um they'll basically just like beat the shit out an axe that was a smash attack by the way when you threw that axe at me um they'll basically just beat the shit out of you also warning because this is post commentary i did very horribly in this fight because i was um actually a bit laggy from the recording. That's my excuse. But, um... Yeah. So as you can see from this boss, I just got fucked again. Wow. Ruffle. This is actually the, the king of the gnolls that I was talking about before. Um, Black Scar. And he's actually not that hard of a boss. He's pretty easy for a boss. He's, um... He's actually pretty easy compared to some of the previous bosses. Um, his attacks are very, are pretty easily broadcasted. Um, I am playing as a tank character, although I'm not doing a good job at it. Um, as a tank character, you can actually, or as a Fiona more specifically, you can actually block against their normal attacks and counterattack them. And then you can use your shield to guard against um, their smash attacks so that you don't lose out on doing DPS. But what I basically did was just kept auto-attacking and died, so, or not died, but got smacked in the face. But oh well, it, it's fine. In any case, um, thanks for watching y'all, I'll catch y'all later, we'll have more Vindictus videos whenever. Peace! Thanks for watching.